40 parishes in the Pittsburgh Catholic Diocese are consolidating into just 14 as the new year begins. Amy Wattis spoke with Bishop David Zubik, who explains why those changes are essential. We can be one, one parish. Sue Reed is a parishioner at St. Simon and Jude Parish in Scott Township. The parish is one of 40 that are merging on January 4th. The Catholic Diocese of Pittsburgh made the announcement over the weekend. I think that, you know, with population shifts, it's important to take a look at making sure that our parishes are vibrant. These mergers are part of the ongoing On Mission for the Church Alive initiative, a strategic plan designed to help parishes mobilize their resources to prioritize mission over maintenance. The first part of the initiative is to really help people to develop a deeper relationship with Jesus and by uh, developing a deeper relationship with each other. St. Simon and Jude will be merging with St. Elizabeth Ann Seton in Carnegie and St. Margaret of Scotland in Greentree and will be known as St. Raphael the Archangel. Reed says she sympathizes with Bishop Zubik, understanding that these decisions aren't easy to make. He's tried to include the parishioners as much as possible in these decisions to try to do it slowly so that it can be a gradual and an easier transition for all of us. As far as church buildings, a number of the parishes that are more than one church building, and they'll be they'll have to assess, uh, you know, what in fact will be the buildings that will be necessary for the congregation to come together to worship, as well as for a lot of the other parish activities. These mergers will bring the number of parishes in the diocese from 107 to 81, and there are more after this. Bishop Zubik says the next one will take place in July and then January of 2022. For the full list of mergers, you can head to our website at kdka.com. Amy Wattis, KDKA News.